Hi everyone, it's Anne here from annshappystampers.co.uk and I'm back with um, the last tutorial of my wedding week. Now, it should have gone out yesterday, but I wasn't very well, so I didn't get a chance to make it, but it's um, it's going out today. So, what we're going to make is, it's something similar to this, like a gift wallet, but um, I did this one wrong, completely wrong. <laughs> But this is the kind of thing that it's going to be. So, you're going to need a piece of A4 Whisper White, which is eight and a quarter by eleven and three quarters. Um, I've got a piece of DSP, which is cut to seven and one eighth by one and seven eighths, and it's this paper here, and I can't remember the name what you call it but it's gorgeous and every side is foiled and if you remember a while ago I told you I was keeping my 12 by 12s in these um, page protectors and I didn't realize that Stampin' Up actually sell them and they've got like a lovely kind of foil Stampin' Up logo on but the quality is amazing they're just so so thick they're, they're really really nice and if I show you here they're on page 191 of the catalogue, the annual catalogue, and that is them there. 12 by 12 page protectors. You get 12, yeah, you get 12 sheets of them, which that's amazing. And um, obviously, they're all 12 by 12, and they are £6.25, so I think that is a bargain. So that's where I'm getting mine from now so that's them but yeah such nice quality they really are all right so <clears throat> um we've got that we've got our um paper so we're going to score it now so this will be the basis for our wallet so on the long side you want to score it at two and one eighths of an inch, five and a half inches, and eight and seven eighths. Okay, turn it to the short side and what you want to do is you want to just score at half an inch and then turn it round and score the other side at half an inch, okay? and that's it dead easy the smaller section at the top will be where it falls over and the larger section at the bottom is the actual bottom that's going to hold the the money or whatever you're putting in right so we're just going to quickly fold it and burnish it so that'll be the bottom there and then it's going to fold up like this and then this is going to fold down like this, okay? So it's going to open like this, all right? And then we're just going to fold these side pieces in because we have to cut some of this, well, most of this side piece away. So the only bit that we need to keep is this second from the bottom. We need to keep this bit here and we need to cut the rest of them away so we're going to cut the bottom one away first okay we're keeping this one but we're just going to give it a little mitre there and then we're just going to cut the rest away All right, so you should just be left with that. And then the same on the other side. Keep this one, but then just mite it in a little bit.
All right. So they are going to fold in and they're going to stick to there and then it will be folded up and then over like that. Okay, so that's how it's going to go. Dead easy. And then I'm going to round the corners of the top here. And then I'm going to put, actually, I'm just going to trim a little bit off these bottom ones because they're getting in the way a little bit and curling over so just mitre them as well so you've mitered them both and then I'm going to put a bit of tape just down here and here for that to stick to our little tabs that we've got so just a bit of tape there whoops actually stick the damn thing on bit of tape there and then a bit of tape here as well all right so I'm just going to remove the tape well the backing of the tape and then just fold them in like that and I'm just going to literally stick them on there and this will be the part that your money will go in and then that'll fold up and then down which lovely so I've got my piece of DSP which is going to go on here like this I'm just going to use some Tombow for that yeah this paper is beautiful I think it's one of my favorites out of the whole catalog absolutely gorgeous and it's so thick as well so we're just going to pop this on here like that all right lovely let's make sure that's stuck properly so what I want to do as well is this piece here I've cut out a piece of fresh fig and it measures three inches by seven and one eighth and I've just used a corner rounder and made some fancy corners so I want to stick this onto here like this going to use some Tombow again all right so just put this as even as you can on here stick that down like so and then what I've done is I've cut a the largest stitched oval out because that is going to go there and what I'm going to do with it is I'm using the stamp set uh, Rose Wonder absolutely love this and I'm using wishing you a marriage made in heaven and a lifetime blessed by God and I've got that mounted already and I'm going to stamp it in the middle with fresh fig ink because I think fresh fig and very vanilla just look so nice together with gold in as well right so I've inked that up and I'm just going to pop it in the middle or as central as I can get it all right beautiful and then I'm just going to attach it to here but I want to make sure it's 
flat just because we don't want any bulk inside otherwise you might have trouble closing the wallet so pop some glue on there and um, yeah just stick this in the middle gorgeous All right, that's that done. That looks absolutely beautiful. And then I've actually forgot to cut a piece of DSP for that, so we'll have to do that. Um, it needs to measure seven and one eighth by Two and five eighths. So I'm just going to quickly do that. So seven and one eighth by two and five eighths. Just get the trimmer. So it's got to be two and five eighths wide. So two, one, two. Five eighths by seven and one eighth. All right. That's that done, and that is just going to go just on there like that. And we'll just glue that on as well. Beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. elegant doesn't it? it really does and I think we're gonna to have to have a piece for the inside of the lid as well which I didn't think about but we will and a piece for there oh god I'm useless right so using the matching thinlets from the stamp set which is the rose garden they are absolutely gorgeous I've cut out some little pieces which are some little leaves in gold foil. I've cut a little heart, a heart, a rose even. And I've cut, and these little bows are from the treat bag, the mini treat bag thinlets. And then I've also got another little oval here which we are going to line behind it with some fresh fig and I was going to put on wedding wishes or I could pop a little rose there which I think looks pretty um, and we could put, no I think I might just put a, a rose there so we're going to have a rose there so I am going to get some Tombow on there just dot it around as long as it you know it sticks just put little dots all the way along Okay, so we're going to pop our rose just there, which looks absolutely beautiful. How gorgeous though is that, it's so pretty. 
I don't use this uh, set enough actually. So I'm just going to quickly cut out some more paper for there and there and I'll be back in a second. Right everyone I've um, cut out a bit for there and a bit for there and I've stuck it on. That measured the same as that one and this one was seven and one eighth by three and a quarter okay and then inside I've just put a couple of the little bows there which um, and the, obviously the rows there and I just think it looks gorgeous and then that's where the money will go so elegant right so we're just going to do a bit of finishing off it's going to close with um, a belly band which needs to measure two inches by eight and three quarters and on the long side you want to score it at two and three quarters and six and one quarter okay um, I've got some of I've got the rows and some of the little leaves which I've just cut them down a little bit and I've got a couple of gold bows and I've got a small stitched shape and a one in fresh fig and on this one I'm going to stamp um, wedding wishes from the rose wonder which is that one there and I'm going to do it in fresh fig okay so I'm just going to stamp this here Like that and then I'm just going to glue this onto the um, fresh fig oval just about there I think I'll do And then where I'm going to stick this one is here so that when they open it up it's just a you know an extra little um, add touch really. So I'm going to put some tumble on there and then I'm going to glue this in the middle but quite near the top, as high as you can get it really. Yeah, look about there looks right and that looks gorgeous. So like I say that will cover it and then when they lift it up you've got that and then a nice sentiment inside. So the belly band I've already scored and done mine. Now you don't want to stick this down too tight otherwise you might have trouble sliding it on and off. So I'm just going to put a little bit of tape along here. Cut that off. Okay and I'm going to pop this over my little wallet. And then what I'm going to do is when I stick it down, I'm not actually going to pull it tight. Okay, I'm going to make sure it's actually pretty slack because it's quite a thick wallet as well. This, So when you stick it down, just lift it up a little bit so that it, can you see? got enough room to slide on and off there so that's that on and I just want to do a little bit of decorating now so I'm going to stick my gold rose down and I'm just going to put a few little bits of glue in the middle because I want to put some leaves behind the rose So I'm going to just pop this in the middle 
of the belly band. Stick that down. And then like I said before, I've cut these little leaves down. So I'm going to have one there. I'm just going to put a bit of glue on the back. Lift this up. Just going to pop that there. And then the other one, I'm probably just going to have this under here like that. So a little bit of glue on there. Probably too much that. And then stick that about there. Absolutely gorgeous. And then I've tie, already tied a triple bow um, with this gorgeous fresh fig sheer ribbon. I love this. And I'm just going to stick that there. So obviously you're going to have to take your belly band off that way. Um, a couple of glue dots I think. Just on the back of the ribbon. And then I'm going to stick this one in the left hand corner, the top left hand corner, which I think looks beautiful. And then I've got some gold faceted gems and I'm going to put a medium sized one in the middle of the ribbon. Stick that down so it's in the middle. And I haven't used them so that I can use them for another project. So there we go. I think it looks absolutely gorgeous. Really simple to make but it does look beautiful. And you could put a piece of DSP on the back if you want as well. So all the info will be on my blog with all the measurements. And I hope you've enjoyed the wedding week. And sorry this one was late but nevertheless it's here now. So thanks for watching and I'll be back again on Wednesday with my usual video. So until then, take care and bye for now.